Welcome back friends. Today we are going to paint a New Year's Eve party. We are really excited about a new year, huh? Let's get rid of 2020 and move on to 2021. The colors you're going to need are light blue, dark blue, white, yellow, black, and if you have it, a shiny gold paint. So this is um, folk art brilliant gold. So a shiny gold paint. Same brushes we always like to use, a medium flat brush, a medium and small round brush. Don't forget to have your paint rag handy and a cup of water for cleaning your brushes. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start by making a strip through the center of my canvas with this light blue color. So right in the center, about three inches long, I use an 11 by 14 canvas. So right in the center, Fill that space in. Now with my brush still full of blue paint, I'm gonna grab white paint and I'm just gonna drop it right in the middle here because I want the center to be the lightest point. I'm just gonna kind of brush that white paint on there. I can go ahead and wipe my brush off. I don't need to wash it off, so I can just wipe that brush off. And I'm gonna paint everything above and below that line with a dark blue. Without washing my brush off, I'm gonna take just a little bit of black and just dab that right at the top and at the bottom and kind of blend those in. So I really want this value of going from really, really, really dark to really, really, really light. Now, here is the fun part. I'm gonna wipe my brush off and I'm gonna hold my brush perpendicular to my canvas so that when I pull down and up, I get these super skinny little lines. And I'm just gonna pull down and up all the way across, changing the depth in which it goes down and goes back up. Now I'm gonna pull these lines up to the top. I'm gonna come down here and do it one more time just to smooth some of those colors out. With my flat brush, I'm gonna just gently pull some of these colors from the top and bottom down just to kind of smooth out where those edges began. Really gentle, my brush is almost not touching my canvas. I'm gonna wash my brush off really good now because now I'm going to blend my light blue into my dark. So almost the exact same way I did it before, I'm gonna take some light blue on my brush and I'm just gonna kinda of tap along the edges. I'm gonna pull some of that color down to really start to blend it. If you get too much dark blue on your brush, just wipe it off. As soon as you get across that area, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our brush and we're gonna just gently pull it down. Super gentle. If you get too much dark blue up there, just wipe your brush off.
We are gonna let this dry and we come back, we're gonna add in our champagne glasses. So as I was letting this dry, I really wanted more of a light blue. So I'm gonna go back in now that it is dry and I'm gonna pull some extra light blue in the center area. When I make these videos, I do a one take video because I'm not get paid to do this. I do it for free. Um, so I like to just kind of make one video and save my supplies and my canvases. So I decided to go ahead and add a little bit more light blue in here. And if you did what I did and got rid of that light blue space, this is a great way to edit your picture. Art is all about looking at what you have and deciding if you love it or if you want to change it. It's okay to go back and change what you have. I was really hoping to have a little bit of a bigger light blue space and now I do. So remembering I don't want it to be all one rectangle so I could pull some areas up higher and some areas down lower. Okay, now I'm happy with it. I'm going to let it dry. And now when we come back, we're gonna add in our champagne glasses. And yes, now we rotate our canvas because we have two champagne glasses and they need some space to grow, but doing straight lines side to side is really hard. So rotate your canvas and locate your baby brush. We are gonna outline both of our champagne glasses, champagne flutes, and then we're gonna add our details to them. So first things first, I'm gonna have mine kind of clinking right here in the middle, a little bit off center. Uh, sometimes when you put things right in the center, it's a little bit too expected. So by just switching it to the side, just a hair, makes it more interesting. Here is how you draw a champagne flute. At the very top, you're gonna to make a very skinny oval very skinny oval. Okay, these are dainty glasses. Then you're gonna make two straight lines that are parallel. And then those lines are gonna very slowly taper in towards the center. You're then gonna come up on the glass just a little bit and you're gonna bring two lines down to make the stem. Now, depending on how much room you have, you might have space to put the bottom of your glass. I'm gonna make the base of my glass just a little bit off my canvas. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. This one's gonna be up just a little bit higher but I do want them still to touch. Now we have to lay out where our champagne is gonna be. And I am going to make mine just kind of, um, the, the line is gonna be straight because the glasses are clinky, but the water's, or the water, the champagne's gonna flow just up a little bit because as they are tapping glasses, the champagne is gonna kind of swoop towards the center. And I'm gonna paint most of this in white. If you wanna switch to your medium brush, you can. But I'm gonna leave a little space at the bottom blue. Okay. 
Okay, now that my glasses are drawn out, I'm gonna zoom you in just a little bit because we're gonna add some details to our glasses themselves. Uh, we don't want our glasses to be white the whole time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my paintbrush and I'm going to squeeze the bristles together to make them really nice and straight. And I'm going to go in with a little bit of black paint and I'm going to add just some very skinny lines. And these are ghost lines, which means sometimes you can see them and sometimes you can't. Just like I did with my black, I've washed my brush off. I'm gonna squeeze those bristles really close together. I'm gonna to grab some white paint and I'm gonna add some highlight lines, just a couple of little lines. Remember, these are ghost lines, so you don't have to have a whole bunch of them, but along the stem and along the base of my glass. Now let's zoom back out. Remember, we're still letting these dry because we wanna have a good solid white base for our champagne to show up. This is where our gold paint comes in. So for me, this is like a party, so I'm thinking party time. So I like to make polka dots with my finger, so I'm gonna take my finger in both white paint and gold paint, maybe even some blue paint, and I'm gonna make different sized circles all over my canvas. Some are gonna be bigger, some are gonna be smaller, but I'm just gonna cover my canvas in some bubbly bubbles to go with our New Year's Eve theme. All right, I'm gonna let my white paint on my glasses dry and when we come back, we'll finish up our toasting champagne to our new year. All right, let's get back to our champagne glasses. So I have my medium round brush with some yellow paint and I am gonna paint in most of my champagne space, but the very top of it, I am gonna leave it white I'm just gonna kind of pull this color on here a little bit. If your yellow is a little bit too harsh, mine's kind of harsh, you can add a little bit of white to it to just kind of soften that color up. And then with your brush at the very bottom, you're gonna put just a little bit more of this color. Now here's the fun part. With the back of your brush and that light yellow color you made, remember back of your brush, light yellow color, you're gonna make a couple of little bubbly spots going up into this from the base. and coming up into here. And then some white ones coming down into your yellow. So some light yellow ones going into your white and then some 
white ones coming down into your yellow. And I'm gonna have these rising up the outside of the glass, just the white ones, because that is where our bubbles tend to form, is going up towards the side. And then I'm gonna pull some of those dots out the top. And I could do a mixture of white or a mixture of white and yellow, or maybe even throw some of that gold in there. I think I'm gonna add some gold spots in mine. You're going to copycat and do the exact same thing on the other side. So you're going to paint most of it yellow. And you're going to put some of that light yellow down at the base. You're going to work on your polka dots and maybe even add in some of that gold glitter. Now with my baby brush, I am going to add in just a little bit of gold right here at the base of my glasses. Um, these glasses have some highlights and they're gonna reflect just a little bit of that gold color. I'm even gonna put just a little bit at the top. I'm going to let this dry and write the words Happy New Year on it, and then we are finished with this painting. I am going to use a Sharpie to write my Happy New Year, but you can always use a paintbrush as well. So I always like to just kind of Google different ways to write out words so that when I go to make my um, words on my canvas, I kind of know what I'm doing. So I'm going to write the word Happy New Year, and I have just kind of pulled up an image that I like with the swirly twirly words. I'm going to start with pencil, but then I am going to use a Sharpie to finish it. Maybe a little bit of gold paint for some highlights. Take my little paintbrush and kind of squeeze those bristles together. Grab just a little bit of paint and I can add just a little bit of highlight to this. It doesn't need much, but just by adding a little bit of highlight on some of my letters and not all of them, 
can really make these letters pop out. back of my brush and add just a couple of polka dots to the beginning and end of my swirly twirls. And then of course, as always, be sure that you sign your artwork with the color that's gonna show up. Make sure to post your finished picture to our Facebook page, Painting with a Purpose. We love to see what you guys do. Um, and that's a great way for you to share it with us. Post it on our Facebook page. Be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you are kept up to date on all of our latest videos. And remember, stay creative, stay kind, and stay safe, friends. Thanks for painting with me today.